Hi there, my name's Phil and I'm the Handyman Specialist here at CMix. Today we want to talk about waterproofing and in particular our product Aquastop. Here at CMix I get a lot of phone calls from people who have damp basements. So today we want to show you a demonstration of how Aquastop can waterproof a very porous substance. What I mean by that is block because nine times out of ten it is a block that is letting your water come through. However, what we're going to do today could also be done on solid concrete. What you need to mix this product is simply a clean container and something to mix it with, like this little spatula here. So what we'll do is we'll empty some powder into this bucket here. Going to add this to water. It's quite important to do it that way around. That way you make sure it all gets mixed up. And let's start mixing till we get a nice sort of paint come toothpaste consistency that we can brush on in a thick fashion onto that porous block. We won't put it all in at first. We'll get this initial amount mixed in. Careful to get all the bits off the side. Some of the additives in here that make it waterproof are in quite small amounts, so it is important to mix everything that you are pouring in here, but you wouldn't want to miss out any of the important bits. Now we want to let this sit for 10 minutes because the additives in here need to start to react together, which they are doing now that water has been added. <music> 10 minutes is up, we've had a cup of tea, and now it's time to get back to work. This is the block we're going to put the Aquastop onto, and first of all, I want to dampen it. I've just got a spray bottle here with some water, and we dampen it. It's always good to dampen a substrate when you put a topping on it. What you are stopping is this block sucking all the water out of there. You are also going to make a little slurry between this topping and this block that will help get into those pores. Now we simply pick up our brush, and because we're doing a membrane, we're conscious of the fact that we don't want to create any holes, so we'll just apply the product in one direction. No back brushing where we're lifting the product off the substrate. And we're trying to get a consistent film with no little pinholes. Now because we're doing a block, we're not going to achieve that on the first coat. So don't worry, you're going to need more than one coat on most substrates anyway, particularly on something as porous as a block. You need to let this first coat cure for at least six hours before you put the second coat on. Whenever we give a time like six hours, it's just an estimate. If it's a hot environment, it could be less. If it's a cold, damp environment, it could be longer. But you want this to have no tackiness and basically be cured before you put the second coat on. Right, now what we're going to do is show that this experiment actually works by pouring some water into this untreated block and let you see just how porous it is and how quickly the water will run through it and therefore what can be happening at your house. And the water level is dropping. And that is the water filling up the block. Now we can see water escaping through the mortar lines here, beads on the side of the block, beads on the side, see those drip lines there, there's water pooling underneath. So if you've got a drain blocked behind your house, and water is able to pull behind the wall and you're waterproofing behind your house if it's given up the ghost, this is what's going to happen. Just like a cooking show, here's something I prepared earlier. This block has two coats of Aquastop on it and it has been allowed to cure for seven days. So what we'll do now is fill it up with water and we'll show you that it doesn't leak. Now if this is going to leak, we'll see it straight away as we did with the other block. We will still see the water level drop initially as the block fills up with water, but what we don't want to see is water escaping through the mortar joints, out the sides, underneath and puddling around, which I'm pleased to say we've got no signs of. I hope you've enjoyed today's demonstration of Aquastop, and I hope that little demonstration has shown you what an easy to use and effective solution it is for rising damp through a floor or moisture coming through a wall. 
It is only one part of the CMEX range of waterproofing products. Some of them are shown behind me and we'd like to demonstrate them to you at some time in the future. But for now, thanks very much.